Hello, I'm Kelly Swoop with your WMAR2 News update. As the number of COVID cases in the South and West continue to rise, numbers here in Maryland continue to drop. For the first time since April, less than 500 people are in the hospital from COVID-19. Statewide positivity rate also dropped below 5% Friday to 4.92. Now, if the virus has impacted your ability to pay your rent, there's more help on the way. Governor Hogan says $30 million will go toward eviction prevention assistance. It's available through the CARES Act. About 20% of people renting in Maryland are behind on their payments. Well, the governor announced that he's easing restrictions at assisted living facilities. Assisted living facilities must meet certain requirements, including no facility onset COVID-19 cases within the last 14 days. Visitors and residents must wear a face covering at all times and maintain proper social distancing. The state is also recommending that there are no more than two visitors at a time per resident visits. Well, as more non-essential employees head back to work, more kids are heading back to daycare. Celebrity School has 26 locations in Delaware and Maryland, and we stopped by the one in Towson. The CEO says they follow strict cleaning regulations and they do temperature checks. Parents are no longer allowed to walk their children back to the classroom anymore, but they understand it's to keep everyone safe and healthy. Give us a peace of mind that way we, you know, we know he's here, he's safe, he's taken good care of, and we don't have to worry about that. Staff members always make sure the kids get some outside time too. Right now, the Towson location is at about half capacity. They want to get it back to full capacity, which is about 140 students. Mostly cloudy start to the day tomorrow with temperatures in the mid 70s, but it's going to be a quick warm up as we head into the afternoon. Also sprinkling in the chance of some scattered showers and thunderstorms, especially as we head towards the late afternoon, early evening. Daytime highs warming into the low 90s for most of us. A couple of locations getting into the upper 80s and a seven day forecast shows the unseasonably warm trend will at least continue through the beginning of the work week, tracking seasonal temperatures for your Tuesday and rain chances that will linger through Thursday, drying but warming as we head towards next Friday. Stick with us online at WMER2news.com for updates on top stories and breaking news. And for news and weather while you're on the go, download the WMER2 News app. You can watch live radar and get breaking news sent straight to your phone. Thanks for watching. I'm Kelly Sweet. This WMER2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.